What's up guys? Joel here, back again with another video. Uh, today I've got something really cool to show you. I am really excited to have a new item in my collection here. Uh, as you can see it's sitting next to me. This is the Sharp Famicom C1 television. Uh, this is extremely rare, um, only came out in Japan, ha and it has the Famicom built into the bottom of this television here. So it's super cool. You can play most Famicom games on this and uh, it displays through a nice sharp clear picture uh, because it also has the uh, RGB chip built into it. So it's a super cool item, kind of similar to the NES television that came out in the US. Um, that was um, released, I think Sears sold it, and it was very limited release. Um, those are also fairly rare too. This might possibly be even more rare. Um, you don't really see these all that often and especially not in the US. Um, I saw this on Yahoo Auctions Japan and I was like that'd be really cool to have that in my collection and it was broken so I kinda of figured well maybe I'll uh, take a chance and see if I can fix it and uh, I put a bid in and my bid stuck. Um, I was surprised. I thought it would go for way more money but I think uh, the fact that it's broken and there's some things messed up on it that need to be fixed uh, kind of scared a lot of people away. So I'll have to do a lot of work on it. Um, the first thing I noticed that when I was looking at the auction, uh, the controller ports are jacked up. Uh, the player one port right here, the plug is completely missing. There's like nothing to plug the controller into. Whoever owned this before damaged or destroyed or abused the controller port and eventually they had hardwired the controller through the back uh, just to still be able to play it. Kind of a really bad hack job that I had to clear up and, and get rid of. Um, they also managed to screw up the expansion port, uh, controller expansion port. So you really couldn't even hook up any controllers to this thing. Uh, except for player two, but that doesn't really do any good. So eventually they must have uh, wore this thing out or stopped using it or something. Um, but that's not all. It won't turn on. Uh, the power cord was cut when I got it. So it's got some internal issues. Um, I tried wiring it up to a cord and uh, I've got a step down converter so I could safely give it the proper voltage because I didn't want to take any chances and I get nothing. It won't turn on, no picture. Um, so, kind of stinks, but it was to be expected. Uh, I did know that it was broken in some way or another and was gonna need some serious work. So, I'm gonna tear this apart and uh, start working on it and see if I can get this thing going. Hopefully it won't give me too much trouble and uh, I'll kind of show you guys along the way and show you what I do and the work on it. So um, stay tuned and I'll be bringing you more videos on this and hopefully this will be working soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.